From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good evening everyone, I'm student meteorologist Gavin Sandell with your Tuesday evening forecast. Taking a time-lapse view of Beaver Stadium, we didn't quite hit 32 degrees last night, although we did get very chilly. We've had a few peaks of blue in the sky, but mostly overcast for our day today. Right now we are sitting at 41 degrees. Still the fall foliage colors are showing, although that won't be the case because we're seeing a lot of cold temperatures our way. Right now 41 degrees and we're sitting at a feels like temperature of 36, a little bit in the wind department. But yeah, like I said, we're having a chilly week ahead. Temperatures, not only highs, but also lows will dip into the 30s and even maybe into the 20s. We might have our first flakes tonight, definitely across the state, but in state college, we might see some widespread snow showers in the form of uh, wet snowflakes coming later on tonight. And then drier and warmer this weekend. Uh, won't be too much rain until early next week. Right now, though, our temperatures are sitting, as I said, in the mid to low 40s, maybe a little warmer as you go east and still 39 degrees in Franklin, Pennsylvania as well. So it is a cool day. And like I said, compared to average, we're just sitting 14 degrees below our normal high of 55 in State College. And that goes across the board, across the state. Down in Johnstown, 17 degrees below. They should also be seeing a temperature of 55 degrees today. And that's it's just a big area of blue in the eastern real half of the country. Over here down in Omaha, Nebraska, and the rest of the upper Midwest, this is where they are seeing a lot of cooler conditions and a snowmaker as well. Although here we're not seeing anything, just the high clouds that I mentioned. The snowmaker is located in the upper Midwest. It is starting to barrel its way eastward, although a lot of the moisture that's associated with this system will evacuate as we go into the, you know, later of the day, into tonight. And this is 8.30, just after the trick-or-treating is over, although it is very chilly outside, 35 degrees in State College. That's why we're seeing a lot of the mixture mix of rain and snow, and then timing it out even more into 1130. Even though it's 39, we might see some wet snowflakes down in State College. Most of the eastern half of the state should remain rain. You see 43 degrees in Philadelphia. That is much too warm to see any snowflakes. But then in the western part, we should maybe expect some snow showers. But anything like that should be scattered in nature. And then as we go into Wednesday, we should look pretty good, clearing out mostly by the end of the day on Wednesday. Heading into the rest of the weekend, though, Thursday looks good. No clouds there. Friday also looks good. Into the afternoon, those clouds might start to build in. But for Saturday as well, much of our area looks pretty good. And especially Penn State is playing Maryland in Maryland. And that Saturday forecast definitely looks much more, you know, much better than we have in the last couple of weeks here in State College when they played football here. So for our spooky Halloween forecast, 4 p.m., we're going to see temperatures in the mid 40s then as we go to trick-or-treating time into 7 p.m. and later on we should start to see some rain showers coming our way and the snow should mix in later tonight they are expecting our low to be 32 degrees with those rain and snow showers with calm winds not much to speak of tomorrow though 43 there should the wind should kick up just a little bit with the flurries possible in the a.m. as that clears out and as we go to the seven day forecast a lot of that stuff should clear out. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all look to be warming up. And then as we go into Sunday and even Monday as well, we will see some much higher temperatures, although we will maybe see some rain on Tuesday as well. With that, I'm Gavin Sandell. Enjoy the rest of your day.